Sun Grazing Comet Amazes Astronomers Presented by Science at NASA Note to Comets Stay away from the Sun On July 5th, a fleet of NASA and European spacecraft watched what happened when an icy comet got a little too close. A Sun Grazing Comet swooped closer to the surface of the Sun than we've ever seen before, says solar physicist Dean Pesnell of the Goddard Space Flight Center. And now, the solar system has one less dirty snowball. The Solar and Heliospheric Observatory saw it first, using an opaque disk to block the sun's glare. SOHO recorded the early stages of the comet's death. The comet grew a long, bright tail as icy material in its nucleus furiously vaporized in the face of intense solar heating. By the time it happened behind the sun-blocking disk, the comet had become one of the brightest of the SOHO era. Since SOHO was launched in 1996, the observatory has recorded more than 2,000 comets, says Carl Battams of the Naval Research Lab in Washington, D.C. I'd put this one in the top 10 of all time. NASA's twin stereo probes also monitored the comet's approach. With three points of view, SOHO plus Stereo A and Stereo B, researchers could get a good fix of the comet's orbit. It was definitely a Kreutz sungrazer, says Battams. Kreutz sungrazers are fragments from the breakup of a single giant comet many centuries ago. They get their name from 19th century German astronomer Heinrich Kreutz, who studied them in detail. Several Kreutz fragments pass by the Sun and disintegrate every day. Most, measuring less than a few meters across, are too small to see. But occasionally, a big fragment like this one attracts attention. The best view of all came from NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, or SDO for short. The Kreutz debris stream happened to be passing right across the solar disk, as seen from SDO, notes Battams. That was fortuitous for sure. SDO's high-resolution cameras recorded the comet's passage through the sun's atmosphere, says Pesnell, the SDO project scientist. We were able to see the comet vaporize before our very eyes, the first time we have ever seen such a thing. Researchers are studying the video in detail to learn more about the doomed comet. How massive was it? What caused the comet to glow so brightly? In some parts of the movie, it appeared to be even brighter than the fiery sun behind it. And was the comet's tail actually wagging? Stay tuned for answers to these and other comet questions as the analysis continues. Updates can be found at science.nasa.gov.